Hello, and welcome to our weekly edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. I'm your host, Chris Green, Director of Network Expansion for Avoya Travel. And as always, we appreciate your time for engaging with us today. Let me ask you a question. Are you seeing a huge uptick in your sales? Are the phones ringing for you? Are clients reaching out to start the conversation? Because I sure hope so, because that's what's happening in the industry at large and certainly happening here at Avoya Travel and for the members of the Avoya Travel Network. We're very proud that we recently posted an all-time record sales day. And if that's not happening for you, maybe you need to reach out, do some research and find a host that has the best in class resources to assist in making that a reality. We firmly believe that if you research all of the resources offered by Avoya Travel that are offered to the members of the Avoya Travel Network, that you factor in the results that those resources have helped achieve for our affiliates, you'll see that Avoya Travel is worthy of a long look and a deep discussion. Best in class resources like marketing, including our famous and exclusive live lead program, technology, support, business intelligence, and professional development are just some of the reasons that Avoya Travel is the number one host agency in leisure travel. We hope to hear from you and our network expansion specialist will be ha happy to answer all of your questions. Now, speaking of professional development, we're gonna do a deep dive today into Avoya Travel's Avoya University with my featured Meet the Team guest, Sandy Magoon, director of Avoya University. Sandy will be joining us for that discussion in just a few moments. A big honor for Avoya Travel and one of the affiliates in the Avoya Travel Network, more cruise delays, Europe's partial reopening, and fireworks will all be featured in today's Eye on the Industry feature coming up here shortly. Are you new to the industry? Are you hoping to start an amazing business and career in travel sales? Well, we've got great news for you today, so make sure you stay tuned until the end of the broadcast for that special announcement. And we'll also recap our latest promotion news for experienced travel professionals to join the Avoya Travel Network. So let's kick off this week's edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update with some industry highlights and our eye on the industry feature. And we start with a big honor for Avoya Travel and one of our elite affiliates in the Avoya Travel Network. Avoya Travel, one of the travel industry's most innovative brands announced last week that Cindy Law, co-owner of Seize the Seas LLC, an independent agency in the Avoya Travel Network was named a 2021 pace setter by American Express Travel. Previously recognized by American Express Travel as their agency of the year, Avoya Travel nominated Locke from more than 1,000 independent agencies in the Avoya network for this prestigious recognition. This is the fourth time that Cindy has received the Pace Setter Award. American Express, American Express Travel Pace Setters are selected based on their exceptional customer service, sales performance, involvement in the travel agent community, and commitment to delivering extraordinary travel experiences. Locke co-owns and operates her own independent travel agency, Seize the Seas LLC, in partnership with her husband, David Locke. Seize the Sea is the highest producing independent agency in the Avoya Travel Network and has been a member of the Avoya Network for more than 16 years. In that time, Seize the Seas has earned numerous awards and accolades for remarkable sales expertise and best-in-class customer service, including being named to Avoya's highly esteemed Chairman's Club each year since that honor's inception. Locke has also been recognized as a top producer for Oceanic Cruises, Region 7 Seas Cruises, and Crystal Cruises. And these are the kind of results that are possible when you mix extraordinary talent like Cindy Locke possesses and best-in-class resources like those offered by Avoya Travel. COVID cases amongst the crew are causing Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines to push back the inaugural sailing of the Odyssey of the Seas. Quoting Royal Caribbean CEO Michael Bailey, during routine testing, eight crew members received a positive test result for COVID-19. All 1,400 crew on board Odyssey of the Seas were vaccinated on June 4th and will be considered fully vaccinated on June 18th. Now, out of the eight cases, six people were asymptomatic and two had mild symptoms. All who tested positive for COVID-19, as well as hundreds of other crew members, are currently under quarantine and being monitored by a medical team. Odyssey of the Seas inaugural sailing originally scheduled for July 3rd has now been pushed back to July 31st. The Odyssey of the Seas will home port in Fort Lauderdale and is scheduled to sail a mixture of six and eight day cruises throughout the late summer months. 
Now, the fact that things are still rapidly changing is a clear sign that your clients need you, which means you need to stay on top of the latest information and having a network that supports you in the right way is a huge step in that direction. Avoya Travel offers best-in-class support for the members of the Avoya Travel Network with real people assisting seven days a week. Portugal is the latest European country to welcome back American tourists. They join other countries like Greece, France, Spain, Iceland, Croatia that have already opened their doors to the American traveling public. Now, EU ambassadors agreed on Wednesday to consider adding the United States to the list of countries from which non-essential travel is allowed. The EU ministers will formally vote on the recommendation tomorrow. Each of the EU's 27 member states can decide how and when to adopt the recommendations and set its own guidelines, including requiring COVID tests or proof of vaccination for uh, entry, and will continue to follow this rapidly changing story. And finally, fireworks and a visit to Disney parks have always gone hand in hand, at least until the COVID crisis shut those displays down in March of 2020. Well, great news for your clients and just in time for the 4th of July, the fireworks are returning to both Disneyland and Disney World. Now the Florida fireworks make their grand return on July 1st and will be centered around the Cinderella Castle in the Magic Kingdom and around the World Showcase Lagoon in Epcot. Disneyland will have its return of fireworks actually on the 4th of July and fireworks have been part of the Disney magic at the parks since the late 50s and it's great to see them return. Another important news that your clients are going to want to know about Disney, the masks are coming off for vaccinated visitors. Disney announced this week modifications in their mask policy. Now those over 12 years of age that have been vaccinated, although no proof will be required, are free to take off the mask at both Disney World and Disneyland. Those guests under 12 will still be required to wear a mask until such time the vaccines become available for that age bracket. Avoya Travel has amazing resources and collateral material available for the members of the Avoya Travel Network that help them engage their clients in these travel closer to home destinations. And that leads to more sales and commissions for their agency. Reach out today and start the conversation with a network expansion specialist and see what those resources can do for your agency. Well, time for another great segment in our weekly Meet the Team feature. Today, it's all about professional development and Avoya University. As our featured guest is Sandy Magoon, director of Avoya University and longtime team member for Avoya Travel. Professional development is one of our cornerstone resources here at Avoya Travel, along with technology, support, business intelligence, and marketing. And it helps the Avoya Travel Network to sell more, generate more commissions, and run a more effective agency. So let's welcome in today's featured guest, Sandy Magoon, Director of Avoya University. And Sandy, thanks so much for your time and welcome to On Deck with Avoya. Hi, Chris. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Sandy, I alluded in my introduction to the fact that you've been with Avoya Travel for a long time. In fact, your tenure predates our current business model as Avoya Travel. Tell me a little bit about how you got into the travel industry first off and some of the evolutions that you've been part of during your time with Avoya. Well, Chris, um, during my college years, I, um, towards the end of them, I thought it would be really fun to be a flight attendant, actually, but I didn't quite meet those height requirements, um, so I decided to go to travel school instead. Um, shortly after I graduated from travel school, I was hired on at, as a travel agent as, at North County Fair Travel, which was a boy's name at the time. Um, there were, I think, maybe five of us in the office at that point. So, um, yeah, things have changed. And in the 35 years I've been here, we've seen a tremendous amount of growth and a couple of name changes, right, <laughs> along the way there. Um, so some of the, the things that were super exciting were, and it sounds silly now, but when we got our first fax machine, wow, that was amazing. We were all just absolutely thrilled. And um, another time when we became a rep office for American Express, we were, um, you know, we were in there. So that was great. But one of the big game changers, I would say, is when Agent Power, what's now known as Agent Power, it wasn't back then, was first developed. That was a huge thing. And it, back in that, at that time, we had, I think, nine storefronts. And I used to, I had to transition from being an agent to accounting. I was in education at the time. I would 
drive out to those storefronts and show everybody how to use our amazing new system. So been in education ever since, and I, I just love it. I mean, look at us now, Chris. We're one of the leaders in technology. We've come so far. Absolutely. And we'll jump into your current role, how you're still helping those kind of get a handle on agent power here in just a second. But Sandy, what about travel before you became a travel professional? Did you get a chance to travel much um, prior to getting in the industry? Not too much, Chris. I was um, well, I went camping as a kid and skiing and things like that. Uh, my grandparents took me to Hawaii with my brother. That was fun, but um, I still consider it younger years. I went to Canada on my honeymoon, so yeah. Cool. And we had a chance to have your cohort from Avoy University, Vicki Dyer, also director of Avoy University as a past guest. But I think it's worth another look. Can you give me an overview of the purpose of Avoy University and some of the ways it benefits the members of the Avoy Travel Network? And then as a follow-up, can you tell us a little bit about your role and specifically kind of what you do as the director of Avoya University and how that fits into the whole picture? Sure. So Avoya University offers um, support and professional development to excuse me, independent agencies in the Avoya Travel Network. Um, we provide optional on-demand education available 24-7. And some of the things it well, it really focuses on agent power, which I was just talking about, how to navigate it and use it. We offer videos with supporting documents, live interactive webinars, individual sessions, um, and additional resources and suggested best practices. Well, a lot of what we do is geared to towards, oh, sorry, tongue twisted, towards those that are um, new to the network. We also offer continuing education. As, as you well know, Chris, Avoya is continually um, developing new technology and always making improvements. And so when those things happen, we provide the how-tos. Absolutely. I mean, I always say, and my team always makes a point of mentioning the fact that no matter how long you've been in the industry, it's vital that you keep your finger on the pulse of what's going on. That's how you stay ahead of the game. And that directly leads to more sales. And I'm going to kind of let the cat out of the bag. I was going to have this announcement at the end here, but I'm going to kind of give a little bit of a preview because we've reopened at least partially our program for those that are new to the industry. And how vital, Sandy, do you think that optional resources like Avoya University are for those that are just trying to get their new agency off the ground in the right way? Well, Chris, it's so exciting to see that we've opened it up to new to travel again. Um, very happy to see that. And I would, I think that resources such as Avoy University are really crucial to the success of any independent agency, whether they're new to the industry or not. Um, learning how to use agent power is, um, I would say, pretty much essential. Yeah, absolutely. Because time is money, right? And I mean, it's a very user-friendly interface and technology, but at the same time, it encompasses so much. So there has to be a focus and at least understanding the basics. Because if you don't understand the ground floor, how are you ever going to build that high rise, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, so Sandy Magoon, Director of Avoya University is our featured Meet the Team guest this week. And Sandy, what about those that are looking to join the network that have previous leisure travel experience? Um, how also can Avoya University benefit them? I know we kind of touched on that, but there's different avenues if depending on your experience, correct? Right. And that's a great question, Chris. I'm so glad you asked because those with experience obviously know how to sell travel, right? Well, Avoy University um, really is designed and focuses on the fundamentals of agent power, as I've mentioned a couple of times. Um, so we want to focus on using those resources and technology to benefit your business. So some of those things, let me get a little more specific, would be our customer management system, the Avoy Live Leads program, our booking engine, Cruise Explorer, um, record keeping and documentation within Agent Power, where to find all the resources that are available and support. And then, of course, we always offer suggested best practices. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to it and there's a lot to running your own business and you've got to wear a variety of hats. So again, I'm just a big believer in not only understanding the basics from the beginning, 
but then continuing to go back and refresh that information so that you just stay always at the very tip top of your game. Exactly. Now, Sandy, you and your team interact with almost every new affiliate that joins the Avoya network. In fact, I'm guessing you actually interact with every new affiliate that joins the network. Let me ask a two-part question. What is the number one thing that you see new agents that do that help them excel and catch on to our business model more effective, effectively? And then vice versa, what are some of the pitfalls and the mistakes that you see some people that join that are looking to take some shortcuts and doesn't have the same results? Um, Chris, that's, it. well, in my experience, and it's going to be very hard to keep this down to one thing, but in my experience, the most successful independent agencies tend to complete Avoy University and are enabled for live leads very quickly. So they, they like to get going right, right off the bat. Um, some of the qualities that seem to be consistent amongst those successful agencies are they have good communication, they're actively engaged in the education, uh, they're willing to learn new processes, and also they are committed to putting in the time and effort. They really understand that they're, this is their own business that they're running, and um, they take full advantage of the ongoing education and professional development opportunities. And then what about those that kind of fail to hit their stride? Is it just the reverse of that in some cases? Yeah, so I would say really um, not taking advantage of those opportunities and resources and also maybe someone who approaches the education reactively rather than being proactive with it. And I'll go back to the resources for a second. It's, it's not just Devoy University. I mean, we've got an excellent marketing resource center. We have teams dedicated to sales and promotions and groups and support. So um, just not taking advantage of those would certainly be cause for concern. Yeah, for sure. I think one of the things that you and I have in common is that before we became employees of the company, we were, well, maybe in your case, you were an employee and a travel yes. agent. And in my case, I was just an, a business owner, right? And that's how I first came to Avoid Travel. And for me, it was the first time running an agency. I'd been in sales. I'd been an all-star performer at a couple of different spots. Sales were not my issue, but trying to grasp the nuances of forcing myself, the employee of my own business, to live up to the same standard that I knew the owner would want me to have, I thought that was a bit of a challenge. And I found that... You know, Avoy University, our other resources like our mastermind program really helped drive that and put it into focus. Would you agree with that? I would completely agree with that. Now, as a longtime uh, travel professional in our industry, I'm assuming you've been through some tough challenges in the past, right? I mean, 9 11, the housing and economy crash that happened in 2008 and 9, and you've seen the industry bounce back every single time. Do you have any words of wisdom, Sandy? to offer those travel advisors that are feeling a little beat up over the last year, year and a half and everything that they've been through because of COVID-19? Yeah, I, um, I do remember both 9-11 and the economy crash, crash quite well. And I have to say, Avoya came through it and you know stronger than ever, really. Um, I think we're starting to see it happen again. We've had, as you mentioned earlier, some we've been setting some... Um, sales records recently, which is, is really exciting to see. I think hanging in there and staying um, positive and maybe focusing on what you can do instead of what you can't. So for example, Avoya really put a lot of focus on land opportunities until cruising came back. And so exciting to see that start to happen, right? But um, we also took advantage of that downtime. Um, and made internal improvements to prepare for the uh, huge wave, I would say that we're starting to see coming. So words of wisdom, I would say perhaps one of the best things your listeners could do is to affiliate with the Avoya Travel Network and start reaping the benefits of all we have to offer. Yeah, and if they reach out and they engage with my team, they put in a request to the Avoya Travel Network, you know, we can even schedule like a one-on-one -on -one demonstration and show off our agent power technology a little bit. And we can really talk in deep detail about the best-in-class resources that are offered 
to avoid travel. So again, please reach out. We want to have that conversation with you. Sandy Goon is our special guest this week. And Sandy is the director of Avoya University, a key resource here at Avoya Travel. And for those in the Avoya Travel Network, Sandy, let's move away a little bit from your role here at Avoya Travel to just you, the person outside of work. What kind of things do you like to do for fun when you're not helping those in Avoya University? So outside of work, I love to spend time with uh, my family and friends, and we haven't been able to get together in those um, larger groups, of course, like most people, um, but we're hoping to do that and get back together with the whole gang soon and spend some time at the Magoon Lagoon. That's what we like to call our pool, um, and that's the hangout for the family, so I like to do that. Um, another thing is my husband and I, we own a um, 65 Ford pickup. We love to take it to the beach and watch the sunset. So that's that's really fun. And I'm looking to start some new hobbies. Recently, I did my very first photo book. I created it and it was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to going through those more old photos and putting those together. And I'd really like to learn golf, how to golf. My uh, husband is an avid golfer, as are my kids. And one of my daughter-in-laws recently took it up. So I think that would be fun family time. Is your husband okay with you learning golf? I think so. We'll see what happens if he tries to teach me. That could be kind of scary, right? <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. Uh, that's kind of funny. What about favorite trips? Having been in the industry for several decades, I'm sure you've had a chance to really go on some memorable trips. Anything that really stands out for you in the past and anything that you're really looking forward to maybe lock it in for the future post-COVID? Yeah. So we've been um, on quite a few cruises, both ocean and river. Um, and it was a couple years ago, but my husband's now retired when he was working. He was um, a fire captain. We actually hosted some firefighter cruises. So that was a lot of fun. Um, we took a smaller group to an all-inclusive in Cancun. That was great too. But I'd have to say my favorite is the 14-night um, crystal cruise to the Caribbean that we went on. It was incredible. I really, at the beginning, thought 14 nights was going to be way too long. It was not. I was completely wrong. I am spoiled forever now. <laughs> um, so for future trips, oh, let me go back to a memory I wanted to, to mention because I think you'll get a kick out of this. But um, one of our first cruises that we went on, we had returned from a shore excursion. And we were on the gangway waiting to board back on the ship. Well, you know how windy it can get? My husband's sunglasses flew off. He reached back to get him and smacked me in the face. I went down. So it, I mean, it was, we thought everyone was staring at us for the rest of the cruise. <laughs> it's totally fine. And we laugh about it now, but at the time it was just not funny. Yeah. You don't want to hear like man, or in your case, woman overboard, you know, I know right? back on yeah, trip. exactly. Exactly. Um, so post COVID trips, we don't have anything on the books right now, but I would love someday to go to Tahiti. I tend to like the tropical destinations, but also Alaska. I've never been, if you can believe that. And um, maybe someday an African safari. All on my bucket list. Alaska <laughs> is the last state I need to visit to finish off all 50 in the United States. So it's definitely high on my priority list. Now that you did the 14 day cruise and it wasn't too long, you think something like these Oceana 180 day around the world cruises could be in your future ever? Oh, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah, oh, I think that would so. Be, yeah, awesome. Yeah, for sure. Sandy, one last question before we let you go today. And we already have some words of uh, wisdom from you earlier, but anything that you would offer either new or an experienced agent on how they should view professional development and why no matter what stage of their career they're at, they should always set time aside for that amazing resource and that just that learning? Yeah, I would say consider the professional development as an investment in your business. I think carving out the time to increase your working knowledge um, can only really increase the opportunity for success. And then also um, taking the time to learn, not just when you're new, and you've mentioned this also, Chris, but always staying up to date on the latest and keeping yourself in the know is, is worth the time spent. And it's just a good closing technique. I mean, yes. you know, when you can set yourself aside as the expert, right? And that's what clients are coming to you for. They want that expertise. They want your knowledge. 
They want your connections and they want those to benefit them. So if, if you don't invest the time, how are you going to be able to leverage that to make more sales? It just seemed like a no brainer to me. Absolutely. Sandy, what a great conversation. I really appreciate your time. Thanks, Chris. Sandy Magoon, everyone, director of Avoya University, and just really enjoyed that conversation. Next week, our featured Meet the Team guest will be Ian Woodward, Senior Director of Product Development at Avoya Travel, and, and I look forward to a great conversation. I've had a chance to, to, to be the roommate with Ian on a past national conference, so we had a chance to get to know each other, but it'll be great to catch up with Ian next Thursday here on On Deck with Avoya. Well, I kind of gave a preview of this really exciting news, but here's the deal, right? When COVID hit last year, we felt that it was only right for us to temporarily pause our new to travel program because one of the things that we've always been really proud of at Avoya Travel is that we've been able to offer these resources to help somebody really get off the ground and running in the right way. Well, the time has come and we're very excited that we've unpaused that program. So attention entrepreneurs, if you're looking to start that business, if you're ready, our new to travel program is open. It has limited numbers every month because we just don't wanna overwhelm the whole system. So reach out and start the conversation, but be your own boss, set your own hours and just live that amazing lifestyle. You can grow your business with innovative resources, including turnkey marketing assets, the award-winning Avoya Mastermind program, and so much more. And we'll of course have our contact information here at the end of our broadcast in just a second. And of course, we haven't forgotten about the experienced travel professionals and we still have two great promotions available. In order to join the network and have that $4.95 affiliation fee waived, you need to be an experienced, kind of a high-end travel professional looking for a more competitive and a more solid home with a better class of resources in order to help you run your agency. And those are the kind of agencies that would have been doing about $500,000 in gross sales or more before COVID shut everything down. They probably have future crews and travel credits. The phones have been ringing. They've been making sales. Reach out, get qualified. We can waive that initial 495 fee if you qualify for that promotion. Everybody else that has some level of experience coming to us as an experienced travel professional, but still trying to reach that level, we're waiving your first renewal fee. So you pay the normal fee at the end of that initial contract, which is six months. We're waiving that renewal fee as long as both partners want to move forward. And again, in both cases, you can explore with complete flexibility with no long-term contract or exclusive agreement and contact us for eligibility and offer details. And how do you contact us? Well, again, pretty simple stuff, right? You can always go to our website, avoyanetwork.com. You can leave us a comment here on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, you can leave a comment. You can call the toll-free number there. You can reach out to me personally at chris.green at avoyatravel.com. And we'll make sure that we get you scheduled with a network expansion specialist who can answer all of your questions and just see if this is a great fit. Maybe together, like we have with thousands of other independent agencies throughout our history, together we can form a shared success relationship. Big thank you to Sandy Magoon for being my guest this week. Big thanks to Marissa Smith, who produces our segment in the background. I hope you enjoyed our broadcast. We'll be back next Thursday again with Ian Woodward as our special Meet the Team guest. Until then, have a great week, everyone.